Hey, it's the Love Guru from loveguru.net, and I wanted to make a quick video for you guys today talking about changing your life and really stepping out of your comfort zone. So recently I signed up for a comedy improv class, and I'm actually going to the second one today. And a part of me really doesn't want to go. Um... I went to the first class. It's a really long class. It's like three hours. I went through a load of different emotions from having fun and, and being happy with the new people I was meeting and, and excited about how my, my, um, my work, my, my healing work was going to expand based on like the stuff that I was doing in this class and just having fun to flip flopping, to feeling uncomfortable, to, not wanting to be there anymore, to being ready to leave, to not wanting to participate anymore. Um, like I was going through the whole gamut of emotions and thoughts. And there's a lot of things that I am learning through this class. Um, you know, yes, comedy improv I'm learning, but more so about making my dreams come true, about stepping out of my comfort zone and about myself. And what I want to talk about in this video is that when you are changing your life, now granted, you need to do the inner work. There's no way around that. You need to heal yourself and work with a fantastic healer like myself. Um, so you need to do, you need to do that inner work. And also there's an element of physical world stuff. And a lot of times I see on social media, people all like rah, rah, you know, let's go hustle and make, you know, certain sales numbers this week and, you know, keep pushing through. And, and, and I don't, I don't have the belief or the experience that changes like that. It's much more subtle. It's much more easier and smoother um, although it might not be comfortable. So for, again, for the example, for this like comedy improv class that I'm taking, it's not comfortable. You know, I, I caught myself several times, um, or actually maybe for a period of a half an hour <laughs> or an hour, I was noticing that I was taking really short breaths, that I was holding my breath. And that's all signs of like being in fear, and I kept saying to myself, Blair, relax. I was saying to my body, body, relax. Because that's like part of one of the meditations that I do talks about telling your body to relax. So I was just kind of initiating that thought that is already sort of implanted in my mind, like body, relax. And I was saying to myself, Blair, you're safe. Like you're safe here. Um, this is just for fun. Have fun. Don't take it so seriously. <laughs> and... The point is here, if you are going through a change right now or you're looking to change your life and your heart is guiding you towards something, maybe that is just doing some internal work. You know, maybe that is working with a healer or working with a therapist or working with a coach and you're feeling uncomfortable with the inner work that they're having you do. And it's maybe you're a very social person and you're being guided to be by yourself more. Like that's one of the things that um, will we'll sometimes or a lot of times come up with clients who are very busy, busy running around, very busy with work, workaholics, and then constantly being around people. A lot of times the message from spirit will be like, spend more time by yourself or, you know, journal about this or that. And then you'll get assignments and the person I can feel their energy. Their person is like, huh, really? That's it. Like that's the guidance you're giving me. And, and there's like more to it, but I, I can just feel that energy within them saying, that's how, that's the guidance. That's what you want me to do. Like maybe that's like too simple or that's too uncomfortable. Well, that's the whole point is that you're changing up the way that you do your life. So if you want to change your life, you're going to feel uncomfortable, whether that is with external things, um, like the situation where I am putting myself in this comedy class. And like last night I was laying in bed and I wasn't able to sleep well. I was tossing and turning and I was saying to myself, Blair, you know, I, I was doing some healing work on myself because I was like, Blair, don't make yourself sick because you don't really want to go or you have mixed feelings about going. Um, 
I was like, you know, this is not a big deal. It's not, you know, again, like I, I have to, I'm very consciously aware of like what's going on in my internal world and I'm clearing those fears. So if you are in the, if you have a desire to change your life, then follow your heart to do something, to be clearing away some fears, to be doing something new in your life, to be doing some internal work that you can go deeper and explore like where your soul wants you to go, what your soul wants you to do rather than constantly be in your mind, constantly be thinking and analyzing how to do this, how to do that. Um, so I think we're going to leave it just at, at that. If you would like assistance in your journey of discovering your true self and finding a happier, healthier, more loving life and along with having happier and healthier relationships in your life, come check out loveguru.net. I'm happy to help you. Bye-bye.